Greedy influencers are charging $5,000 for this type of content, but I'm doing it for free. In today's video, I'm going to give you an altcoin bull market guide based on everything I've learned in crypto over the last 17 years. This is going to be one of the most important videos you'll need for this cycle, as I'm going to be brutally honest and I'm not going to hold back with what I think. The course has three main elements. Don't overcomplicate crypto. All we're doing is buying good coins for cheap, holding onto our position by managing it, and then exiting when the price is high. I call it the entry management exit strategy. This video's focus is on entry, how to buy the right coins, how to find good opportunities of when to buy them, and the things you should and shouldn't do. Okay, so right now I want you to sit down, think about your portfolio and your actual plan for this cycle and how much money you want to make. 10 minutes of your time can really be the difference between not making it or a lifetime of comfort. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice. The people who win in crypto are the people who can think for themselves. The start of everyone's investment journey is deciding what altcoins to buy. And I think that's why people rely on influencers so much because they don't really know what to do. I'm going to start with this because I think it's the most important thing, especially for new people. The number one way to make sure you fuck up this cycle is by buying whatever influencers shill you with no plan. I wrote these 10 principles you need to know when dealing with influencers. Pause the video and read it all. You need to realize that influencers do not give a shit about you. They just view you as a means to make money. You can't rely on them because Think about how many influencers you know who shield a project and then when it goes down, they never mention it again. I'm one of you, so I can explicitly tell you that I've already been offered 3 to 5k monthly for partnering with projects at 7k subs. And I'd make even more money if I took the Bybit deal. But I don't want to shield leverage trading to people because I know they'll lose most of their money. I'm saying this so you guys can imagine just how much the really big YouTubers are getting paid. At a certain point, it just becomes a question of how many people can they farm rather than actually providing alpha? I'm not saying you should only follow me. I'm saying you need to hunt for four to five reputable quality people and use them as tools to gain information. If you have tokens in your portfolio that you're unsure about, join my Discord and ask people what they think about it in the portfolio strategy channel. So this is what I think you should do. It's not financial advice, but you have two options. The first is if you have very little free time. If you have one to two hours of free time for crypto, Spend that time studying the influencers that you listen to because they will determine how much money you make this cycle. Simply because they influence your mind and therefore your actions and what coins you buy. Big boy, crypto banter, all these big guys, they've got so many haters because they allegedly got a ton of people wrecked last cycle. Don't allow yourself to become a sheep of mainstream influencers. You don't want the same knowledge and thinking process as 100,000 retail noobs. The only time it's worth following influencers is if you can get in really early when they make calls publicly, but make sure you have a strategy to do that. Look at the videos on my channel and the ones that I've called with conviction, and you'll see that they've all outperformed the market significantly. I'm going to be bringing a lot more alpha in terms of coin selection and upcoming launches when I start streaming soon. And I've also got a 20k all season portfolio video coming really soon too. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that. But look, I'll say how it is. Once this channel gets too big and I start getting too many viewers, you need to start finding new and smaller channels. Now your second option is to research. If you want to do things for yourself, here's exactly what you need to do. The first thing you need to do is you need to specialize. Crypto is too big and you can't be going around dabbling in all sorts of different narratives. You need to pick the ones that you think will have the most attention and then hit those hard. These are the three that I've chosen because I believe they'll get the most attention in the bull run. Then you need a way to gain quality information, whether that be on-chain analysis, certain websites like crypto fundraising to scout upcoming launches and quality researchers. Remember researchers are not money hungry influencers. In my discord I'll post a full guide to all my research tools very soon and my discord is actually a really good starting place for learning about good coins. We have individual channels for specific coins where people post their research. There's a ton of alpha here so make sure you check it out. There's around 4.1k members in here right now and after 900, the final OG spots are going to run out, so make sure you join before they do. Now, if you're someone who is heavily sidelined right now, you need to start focusing some of your attention on the upcoming launches in 2024. You're less likely to be buying other people's bags, and if you're feeling FOMO right now, make sure you check out my last video. Anyways, once you've found a quality source of information to gain ideas or projects to research, you need to be able to actually research it yourself in terms of evaluation. When you evaluate a project, keep it simple. I found that these are the things, after all the research I've done, that these two things are the only things that really matter. You need people to believe in the project 
and that's where a strong community really helps. Second, it's really good if the token has incentives that make people want to buy it and hold it. And third, there needs to be potential for you as a buyer right now. I'm going to be honest, a lot of the projects that I've been sharing on my channel over the last few weeks are pretty much already starting to go. So keep watching if you're sidelined and you're looking for new opportunities. Anyways, the second thing you must do, whether you have time or not, is know how to research tokenomics. There was a token last cycle called OXT that went from $11 million in market cap to $450 million. So you're thinking, all right, this coin went 45x. But when you actually look at the price, it went from around 18 cents to like 83 cents, which is like a 4x. This is the exact reason why I always stress how important it is to research economics, because if you don't, things like this can happen. Lucky for you, I'm going to show you exactly how to evaluate tokenomics right now with an example. So this is how I evaluated two years tokenomics when I first saw it. The first thing I know is the market is just buyers and sellers. The second thing I ask myself is who's going to buy for me in the future? And at the time, the Solana of this cycle narrative was really hot. And I knew it was something that people would believe in and get hyped over. Third, I looked to see who was going to be dumping on me. And this is where I saw a lot of TikTok mid curvers say don't buy it because the seed investors got in our penny. But when I actually looked at the resting schedule, I knew it didn't matter in the short term. Then we saw how Tia got really crazy once the airdrop narrative evolved. People had a reason to buy Tia and they had a reason to keep holding it too because they had to stake it for 21 days. Now we don't always need this part. Sometimes community belief and speculation that the price will go up higher is enough to get them to buy it and keep holding. But this really is the perfect recipe of winning tokenomics in my opinion. And when I find something like Tia, again, I'll let you know. The whole point of this video is to get you to build a strategy to play the bull run. It's entirely possible that we get an all season in the next few months and then another one in 2025 when global liquidity goes up and more as we approach the next cycles. Crypto isn't going to go anywhere. Build the skill and the habits and you won't be one of those people who ruins every all season they get by buying the wrong coins at the wrong times and then selling the bottom. Anyways, once you have good projects you want to buy, you need to actually make sure you're buying them at the right time. That means two things, either buying early or buying for you. In the future, I'll make a guide for playing new launches. But for now, if you can develop the skill of buying for you in a bull market, you'll make a lot of money. And you'll never be that person who sells the bottom of every dip only to watch the price go much higher. And this is something that I mentioned in the next video. A lot of people got some really good entries on their coins. But at some point in this cycle, they're going to get shaken out of their position because they'll panic and get off too early. So when I identify buying opportunities, I break it into two sections. The first is psychology. I look at other people's behavior in the markets. I have this thing called the sentiment analyzer where every so often I go around different corners of the internet. I try to understand what the general consensus is. I know this is pretty abstract, but if you want to win in crypto, you need to think differently. For example, recently, I just went through every form of crypto social media available and I can sense a lot of disbelief mixed with optimism, which is why if you're sidelined, understand that a lot more people are too and they're simply hiding it because if crypto natives aren't actually bullish yet, that means we're still very early to this cycle. This tool is especially useful once the market dips. Once you start to see mainstream influencers be bearish and you see some FUD articles dropping, you can safely say that any fool who was going to sell already did and it's already been priced in. And that's when you want to start buying. I actually specifically remember this point in 2021 when Bitcoin was knocking on the door of 40k support. Buy the dip was literally trending on Twitter and TikTok was full of people talking about buying the dip. There wasn't a lot of fear and you know what happened next. Once you start to see people getting cocky about buying the dip, that's a warning sign. And also remember, bobs never form on good news or with the market feeling confident, it never feels comfy buying the lows. The second thing is the technical part. And this is why I say everyone should have some basic knowledge of TA in crypto. All you need to do is identify where high time frame weekly support and resistance is and the 21 week moving average. That's all you need. If there's a lot of fear going into high time frame support in a bull market or the 21 week moving average, it's a really good opportunity to buy. So make sure the next time we do get those dips, you're looking at buying and not selling. Next, whenever we get huge liquidation events, that's typically a good time. Buying from people who don't want to sell is usually a good idea. But fundamentally, what you really need to drill into your head is 
the cheaper the price gets, the more it goes down, the less risky it is to buy. And the higher it goes, the more risky it is to buy. If you can combine these two things, which is the psychological and technical components, you have a massive edge over scared retail who don't know what they're doing. And whenever we get that next flush and dump, you'll know what to do. Now for sizing, and this is the actual most important part because it's where you make the money. So far, we know how to find quality altcoins. We know when to buy them. Now we need to know how much money to put in. It's like being a striker in football and having the ability to finish. So for sizing, this is more so the focus of part two, which is more about portfolio management and structuring and the specific coins you need in your portfolio. But the key principle is you need to invest with size you can actually take hits on. It sounds like obvious advice, but I sometimes struggle with this because I've got like 95 to 99% of my entire net worth in crypto. But here are the steps I take when deciding on any coin to invest in. And this is what's allowed me to win big in recent months. I do everything described in this video, so I'll specialize in certain narratives. I'll gain quality information. I'll evaluate the project. Then I ask myself, if I buy here, can I handle minus 50% downside? If the answer is yes, look at what's my upside potential. Then the last key thing I ask myself, and this is something that nobody else talks about, is how likely is it that this idea that I have to invest actually plays out? This is extremely important because it's tied to conviction and conviction and belief is something that with a logical process is how you get rich in crypto. For example, there's many low caps that YouTubers promote and say because this is a $50 million market cap project, if it went to 5 billion, it could go 100x. But then you ask yourself, how likely is it that actually plays out? And then you realize, okay, this investment is actually a terrible idea. Now, this is the final part of the video where you really need to pay attention, the psychological game of crypto. I don't see many YouTubers focus on it as much in their videos when it's really the most important thing. The first principle is, in a bull market, you can't be afraid of losing money. You have to get out of that bear market PTSD you have, where you have fear, you stay in stable coins, because that's just going to make you fall more in at the tops. You need to be able to accept volatility. You need to be able to buy when you feel scared. Remember that price going down means it's less risky to buy. You need to plan in advance what you're doing. For example, a lot of people got wrecked in 2022 buying the dip because they didn't bother looking at things like understanding the position of the market cycle, the actual coin they were buying. And fifth, stick to high time frame. When you truly zoom out, dips don't scare you as much when you realize where we're going. If you're investing, stay on the weekly time frame and have patience when you make a move. Also in bull markets, there's going to be a lot of noise. So make sure you reduce your exposure to crypto social media like YouTube and Twitter. Stick with the people that you trust and only listen to them. Lastly, be open-minded to new things. A lot of people last cycled mid curved memes and NFTs in 2021. Whatever new stuff we get this cycle, make sure you jump on it and be early. I believe this video provides a solid starting point for how you should consider entering any investment in crypto. From top down, from your research to where you buy, it's got it all covered. The next video is going to be one about management and managing your position in the bull market. You need to watch that one specifically because a lot of people who got good entries are going to get shaken out as we climb this bull market. The final video of the course will be a complete exit strategy, which will probably be the most important and best video I'll make on this channel. And then finally, I'm going to make a 20k all season portfolio video, so make sure you don't miss that. After some time, I'm going to delete all three of these videos, which is why I said watch ASAP in the title. If too many people view it and it becomes consensus, it's not useful to anyone. Make sure you remember to join the Discord before the final batch of OG roll is finished.